What's going on YouTube? JT is born here and welcome back to another edition of my Godzilla comic book reviews. And in this video, we'll be talking about Godzilla Rivals versus King Ghidorah. This is a part of the IDW series Godzilla Rivals. Now, I've already talked about the other issues. I talked about, what was it, uh, Godzilla Rivals versus Hedorah, which was really solid. Then there was one versus Mothra, which was also pretty good, but I think I kind of like the Hedorah one a little bit more. Uh, I pretty much covered every IDW comic uh, that's come out, starting with like Monsters and Protectors, although I still need to talk about Godzilla uh, versus Mighty more from Power Rangers but with that thing it was weird because I tried posting a video on the first issue and then it just didn't really show up I think it got copyright dinged or something I guess it's whenever you talk about Power Rangers like their copyright things are just like like leeches they just like take it just like ah taking that video down or something like that I don't exactly know but I'll try and do it again at some point but uh anyways so Godzilla Rivals versus King Ghidorah this thing is written and drawn by Adam Gorham, colorist Adam Guzowski, uh, design letters. Well, actually, you know, there's the credits there, so you, I don't exactly butcher the names. But this is a really fun, uh, exciting one-shot issue. A lot of nods and Easter eggs to previous Godzilla films and other Showa Toho films. Like, we have Doctor Who from King Kong Escapes, although they spelled H-U instead of W-H-O, kind of like in uh, the American version. I believe in the Japanese cut, they did spell it H-U. Um, I, I'm not entirely 100% certain about that. But yeah, Doctor Who shows up, and he's, they still say he's a supervillain, but he's still kind of helping, like, mankind. I do kind of wish this story would have been expanded a little bit more, because a lot does happen in this single issue. But as a single issue, I think this would make a pretty great movie. Like, this is the baseline for a really entertaining Godzilla film. Um, it's kind of like taking elements of, like, Planet Hulk, like Thor Ragnarok, like when Hulk was shipped off to, uh that other planet where he became a gladiator. Godzilla is kind of something similar done here where the Exilians, they invade Earth in the 1990s and Godzilla ends up getting like taken off uh, Earth and shipped over to planet X as the Exilians are there to invade. Now, Godzilla is kind of like... Humans aren't really cool with him because Godzilla did cause some problems for a lot of people, but he was a protector of the planet Earth, and the Exilians were a threat. He took out a lot of their armada, and finally they had to use kind of like their mega cannon to kind of apprehend him. So, yeah, Godzilla is kind of like... He, he was our enemy a bit, but he's also, like, our main protection against alien invaders. And so he gets shipped off to another planet, leaving everyone kind of questioning, like, how do we stop the Exilians and their control of everything? So they turn to Doctor Who, and then they send a mission to Planet X or Mars or whatever it is. Um, and Godzilla, meanwhile, is, uh, you know, doing battle and all that. Like, he's battling Kamakris and all sorts of things. Uh, he tries to use atomic breath, but, like, they have a little inhibitor collar on him, which shocks him, basically, so he can't really use his abilities. Uh, Jet Jaguar makes an appearance in this thing, too, which is also really cool. Dr. Hugh, uh, created him. Um, so, like I said, there's this big epic war thing. Like I said, this would make a really terrific Godzilla film. Um, and then they send out Ghidorah to do battle, gladiator style, in the arena with Godzilla. There's a great shot here. Like, look at this art. This art is really, really good. I mean, having to do writing and artistic duties on this particular book, it's gotta be a pretty crazy thing, but if I were make a Godzilla film like at least like this feels like something I'd really want to see in a Godzilla film so I really appreciate the story and the style of all this taking elements from like the Showa era Heisei era and all these other different things kind of combining them doing something a little bit different and creative with Godzilla making him like uh like a gladiator type thing to compete which does remind me a bit of Godzilla the series I believe there's an episode where they had kind of like monster combat league or whatever it was um so yeah like, there's a lot of action things go wrong Godzilla seemingly kind of defeated then using like the radiation of Mars he becomes like a supercharged like almost like burning Godzilla but it's like a different looking design there like you can kind of see how he looks right here it's a little different than I'm kind of used to but like because he's got like one glowing part in his chest so yeah it's definitely burning Godzilla but the style listically looks a little bit different um but yeah like I said he's still got the red atomic heat ray and all that and he's like unstoppable force um humans head back home and then, obviously, the Exilians are kind of left to deal with this unstoppable monster uh, who's pretty much going to take out their plan. He's like, well, you guys are good luck. So, oh, we got rid of Godzilla, but now he's kind of stuck here. So um, that's pretty much where the storyline ends. Like I said, I really wish we could have expanded this more into a couple more issues because I think it was the baseline for a really good, like, long-term Godzilla arc. But for what I got for one single issue... I was thoroughly entertained with it uh, from beginning to end. The artwork is really good. Um, it's fun. It's exciting. Uh, definitely nods and Easter eggs. Like we can see little uh, teases of Mechagodzilla and Mechanicong, both built by Doctor Who. Um, and like I said, I love Doctor Who um, from or Hugh um, from uh, King Kong Escapes. Like that actor just clearly was having a ball uh, in that role and like him with his cape and just little every little bits in it. Like he was the best part of that movie. So uh, yeah. 
I quite like this issue. If you're a Godzilla fan, I think you'll really enjoy it too. It's got a little bit of everything you'd want in there. Um, plenty of monster action. Uh, an interesting story for Godzilla to kind of like be put into. Like we, I don't think we really, like I said, Godzilla is like a gladiator on another planet uh, doing battles with other monsters, kind of being forced against as well. That sounds kind of fun and exciting. I, I Like I said, this would make a really great Godzilla film, uh, if I'm being honest, like this, like if it had more time to kind of expand on everything that's going on in it and like just kind of taking like all these concepts, this would make a pretty great Godzilla film, like Godzilla on, on another planet doing battle and stuff and like I said, a lot of good stuff in this thing. So, anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for my thoughts on this particular issue. Like I said, go check it out. Uh, Godzilla Rivals IDW does a tremendous job with, job with the uh, Godzilla IP. I think all their comics, for the most part, are pretty top-notch. Some are, can be, like, you know, a little bit lesser in terms of quality. But, for the most part, like I said, I'm getting some good Godzilla content out of it. So, uh, yeah, if you have any thoughts on the issue, let me know in the comments section down below. Uh be sure to subscribe for more Godzilla-based content on this channel. Uh, I'm going to try and do another live stream later on tonight uh, on Kaiju Network's channel. Hopefully we can get that thing uh, up and running. But uh, So look forward to that. I'll make another community post about it or something at the time I'm uploading this video, which is Sunday. So, uh, yeah, I think that's all I got to say. Uh, as always, take care now. Bye-bye then, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.